Hello everybody, Jesse here from Jason Sphere. How are you guys all doing? So guys, I want to show you today how to use my SQL and VS Code. And just in case you've been searching for an alternative to your conventional terminals, this video has you covered. So without further ado, let's just get started. So for starters, let's go ahead and install my SQL. So to do that, I'm just going to visit this site, dev.mysql.com slash download slash installer. So I also have this linked in the description below. So feel free to copy paste it in your browser and let's visit this site together. Okay. So it brings us to this page where we can actually install my SQL. So next we will need to specify our operating system. Okay. So I'm doing this on a window. So just in case you're using some other operating system, like a Mac or something else, feel free to click this drop down button and then you can select your operating system from right here okay so if that's done right here we can see two flavors of this version so um naturally i gravitate towards the one that has more downloads okay so i'm just gonna hit download from here so it brings us to this page where we can sign up to my sql community but for this video um that's not our concern so i'm just gonna come right here to no thanks just start my download so if you're done installing just click on it and come right here and click run just like that so if you don't run in it, it should bring up this card that allows you to choose a setup type. So as you can see right here, we have five types from developer default to custom. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be choosing server only. So this installs only the MySQL server product. Okay, so everything we need to just run um, MySQL server will be installed. So I'm just going to click on next right here. And then it tells me you're ready to install. So just click on execute. So it's currently done. So just click on next and tells me you're ready to configure. Click on next. And um, I think the default setting should do. So click on next. Click on next. So it tells us use strong password encryption for authentication. So this is what is recommended. So just stick to the default settings and click on next. Uh, my secure root password so go ahead right here and impute the password which you'd like to use so i'm just going to impute mine and make sure that you remember whatsoever password you're putting in okay so um that's good so click on next if you've done that and um okay i think the default should do click on next click on execute so if you're done, all these your boxes right here should be checked. And I'm just click on finish. So it tells us configuration complete. Click on next. All right. So the installation procedure has been completed. Copy log to clipboard. And then just click on finish. That's all. So come right here to VS Code and um, click on this icon right here, which says extensions. So search for this extension sql tools so check this out guys the first one that shows up right here this matthews text here all right so go ahead and click on that and we're just going to install it right now so install all right so i have it installed currently so next we need to install the driver for my sql so um there are a bunch of ways to do this it's either you install it directly from here so um this is the one we just currently installed um, if you check right here on this same list, you also see this other one right here that says SQL Tools, MySQL, MariaDB, and all that. So this is the second one right here to install. Um, just in case you can't see this in your VS Code, you can also scroll down right here and check it out. So it says right here, my SQL link. So just click on the link. It will take you to the page where you can install this driver. So I'm just going to install mine from here. So I'm just going to click Install. So if everything works well, you should have this icon right here in your VS Code, just right here. So if I hover over it, it says SQL Tools. So I'm going to click on this and it tells me add new connection. I'm also going to click on this. Okay, so it tells me select your database driver. So I'm going to click on my SQL and um, connection name. I'm going to call it Demo Connect. Um, I'm going to call the name of the database Demo DB. Okay. Then with DB, username will be Jesse. Let me put the password. So right now I'm just going to save the password because I don't want it to be, you know, asking me every time I'm trying to connect. So I'm going to call the password, you know, that. 
And um, before you save your connection, uh, feel free to test it to make sure everything is working well. So if everything is working well, you should have successfully connected. So when you're done, save connection. So it brings me to this page where I have a preview of my connection. So everything I specified will be um, reviewed right here in JSON syntax. If, you, if this is exactly what you specified, go ahead and click on connect now. So it brings me to this window where I have my connection. And if I hover over this, it tells me uh, disconnect. So um, see right here where it says disconnect. So you can click on this to disconnect it to your DB or you could click on it to connect it back. Okay, so right now it's connected. Now let's just run a simple SQL command. So I'm just going to type in show databases, just like that. And um, I'm going to click right here, which says run on active connection. And check this out, guys. So it tells me right here, access the nine for user Jesse at localhost, okay? And then um, you could also see your error reports right here where it says S SQL console messages. So you could see from here also. So basically what we are saying is that there are some privileges that has not been set for this user which we will need to configure. So we're going to do that right now and then come back here and run this command. So open up your CMD right now. So just type in CMD right here. Now you should see your command prompts. So click on it and then to get started, I'm just going to check the version of my SQL just to be sure everything is working. And then it tells me my SQL is now recognized as an internal or external command, operable program or batch file. This basically means that uh, my SQL right here currently has not been added to our path. So to rectify this, I will need to find the path of this my SQL which I downloaded and specify it as an environment variable. So to rectify this, come right here to your file explorer and then come to local disk C, go to program files, look for my SQL, click on this, go to the binary directory, okay, and then copy the path. So click on this bar right here and copy the path. So I just use the control C right now to copy this, okay. And then next, come right here to your search bar and type in environment. Okay, so you can see it says edit the system environment variables and then it says edit environment variables for your account. So click on the first one, edit the system environment variables. Okay, so it says right here advanced. So in this advanced tab, come right here to where it says environment variables. So click on this. So come right here to where it says system variables and then search for path. So this is path. So double click on it and um come right here to new okay to click on new and then control v add the path to your um binary directory which was inside your mysql folder so once you're done click okay 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 and that's it so close the previous cmd and then let's open a new one and let's run this again my sql version so it tells me right here the, the version of the SQL which I'm currently running. So it means it's working perfectly fine. So let's go ahead right now and give privileges, okay, to the user. So first things first, let's connect to our server. So I'm just going to type in my SQL, U for the roots, the username, the roots. And then I'm going to type in hyphen P for password. So right now you're going to impute the password um, that you created when you were installing my SQL. So I'm just going to type that in right now. Good. So right now I'm currently in my server. So now I'm going to create a new user and I'm going to grant all privileges to this new user, which I'm going to create. So I'll use the create command, create user if not exists. Uh, I'm going to call him Jesse. Okay, stands for Jesse inspired. Add local hosts, just like that identified so you could use whatsoever name you like identified by um, let me give you the password of just password okay just to make it as simple as possible okay and it's a semicolon hit enter all right so you should have something like this next i'm going to grant grant all privileges or to uh jesse at 
So make sure to have your single quotes right here. Okay, and then your ads. Then open up your single quotes again. We will pull posts just like that. Next, flush privileges. Okay, so this should work. Hit enter. Okay, so bullseye. So I have, I think everything is working fine. So I'm just going to type in exit right now. Exit. So let's just go ahead and close this guy. So every day looks good. Close all. And um, come right here to SQL tools. Click on this. Right now, I'm going to modify this guy right now. But first things first, let me close this so it's not confusing. Don't save. So let's go ahead and modify our previous connection. So edit connection. So you should have something like this. Okay, so let me just close this terminal. So right here, come to username. So since we created a new username, so I'm going to have that as Jesse. Okay, and then I'm also going to change the password to password, just like that. Okay, so let me just go ahead and test the connection. So successfully connected. Let's go ahead and save it. Fine, so um, we should have this our review session again. So go ahead and connect now. All right, so let me, next, I would have to disconnect this and connect it back, just sort of refreshing it so that, you know, everything works very well. So let's just go ahead and run a command like show databases, just like that. And then run an active connection. All right, guys, as you can see, I have another error, which um, some of you may have encountered. It says client doesn't support authentication protocol requested by server. Consider upgrading my SQL client. So this is happening because probably I have a later version of, of my SQL and it doesn't support this authentication protocol, but there's a way to um, rectify this. So to do that, I'm just going to open up my CMD one more time. So I'm going to type in create user that exists. Uh, I'm going to call this time Jess. Okay. I'm going to say Jess. At, okay, let me put it between single quotes just at local hosts okay and i'm going to do identified identified with this time around my sql native password by same password okay so you realize i've added this extra clause right here to um tell my sql how i'm going to be you know authenticating this user okay so i'm going to be using my sql native password okay so um this should work i'm going to hit enter oh, okay so i did not put my semicolon okay so it tells in query okay zero is affected all right, so this looks good for now. Let's go ahead right now and grant privileges. So let's grant all privileges. Okay, on asterisk star to just at local hosts. Okay, let's go ahead and validate these changes. Okay, so this looks good. I'm going to close this right now. And then let's come right here to modify our connection. So first things first, let me just connect it. Now I'm just going to edit it, okay? And um, I can always close all and close this so I have enough space. I'm going to change this to Jess, okay? Because that's a new username I created. See so the same password, I use the same password, which is password. So let's just go ahead and test the connection. It tells me successfully connected. Let's go ahead and save it. And then connect now. Okay, so right now I have a, a running connection. Let me go ahead and run this show databases right now. So it tells me um, unknown database demo DB. So um, it's actually telling me unknown database because I'm trying to connect to a database that doesn't exist on our server. So there are a bunch of ways to do this, but um, the easiest thing I can think of right now is that I'm just going to connect to an already existing database by default. Okay, so I'm going to disconnect this. 
and um, i'm going to edit the connection right now and rather than connecting to demo db which is a non-existent database i'm going to connect to a default bit database in my server called mysql okay right now i'm just going to click on save connection and connect now let me go ahead and close these guys right here and uh, let me run this again so guys as you can see our connection is working as expected because we are using a database that is um, currently inside our server so guys this is basically how to connect vs code to mysql i know this was pretty engaging because i had to debug my code here and there because i wanted to show you guys some of the challenges i encountered so if you have a better way to do this feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below okay and if you like the video go ahead like the video subscribe if you're new here okay and that's it from me for now i'll see you in the next one